I never thought this could happen to me. One swift move has turned my miserable world upside down to the deeper version of hell itself. I am the pawn in chess and one quick decision is critical. But why? How could hell be even crueler than the life it gave me? I had never thought my finale would turn out like this. And if this is the last moment of my life, I want to tell you the last thing in my mind before everything went dark. My Aunt Alice could have been the mother we never had. Wake up! Wake up, stupid! Bring us some water now! You basic pathetic in the cell! Get Wake up! My sister Leia was a special one, but never was our life. They treated us like dogs since our father left us. I wished father came back. Hoping that he might save us from this misery. Hoping one day he might be able to feel our pain. During those hard times, Joseph has always been there for me. I wished he had until the end. I loved him. Sometimes I thought, what if this man were going to leave me? I am a graduating student and I have been in so many part-time jobs in order to send myself to school and provide Leia's medicine. You don't need to explain. I'm aware of your pretensions. I'm here as your friend para matulungan ka sa problema mo. I know your aunt exploits you and your sister, and you're doing extra job to suffice your school needs and Leia's medicine. I'm here to offer a proposal. I already told you. I have refused you a hundred of times. It's too immoral. Kaya hindi ko gagawin ang bagay na yan. Isabel, a pagiging prostitute, although it's a bit hard and harsh, you just have to endure it. And your problems are answered. Even this time ba, Isabel, na lumalala na ang kondisyon ng kapatid mo? And by the way, you cannot have your OJT if you can comply with the requirements. And that's within this week. Yang moral-moral na yan, will that help you graduate? Makatulong ba yan sa kapatid mo? Sayang naman, the diploma is within your reach na. Kunti na lang at magkakatrabaho ka na. Will you suffer another month? Or year under your aunt's cruelness, will you continue to watch your sister suffer? I can't let my sister die, and I badly want to escape from my aunt's cruelness. I know I have to do this. Ano ba talaga nangyayari, Isabel? You're so cold. Seems that I don't know you anymore. I don't want to share the burden I bear with the people I love. It's just that napakabigat at napakahirap tong sabihin sa iba. Pati ba sa akin? Where are you? I want to scream to God how could he let this happen to me? Why do I need to suffer like this? Why? You slut! I have given you all my love and this is what you gave! Did you ever love me? Well, kailangan ko pa bang itanong. Sana namatay ka na lang. Kasama kayong dalawa. I want to run to him and explain everything. But it's killing me to see him suffer more. I have to let him go.
The death of my poor sister is unbearable. I wanted to end everything like in a sleep. If this was a movie, the protagonist could have moved on and had the revenge. But this is reality. Like all other teens, I thought this could ease the pain temporarily. A little rebellion might help, I guess. Life is a chess. Life is what you make it. I am the player, but I guess I made the wrong move in the middle of the game. It was October that time, and it changed my life forever. Will I be having a stalemate? A chance to draw this game of life? Or is this a checkmate? But one thing is for sure. A king sacrificed his life for a pawn. Could this be the end? How could death be so unforgiving yet so peaceful? It's a I want to rest now. To close my eyes and wish everything had never happened. But I am deceiving myself. And the last thing in my mind is the king's forgiveness. Don't cry yourself over a spilled milk. If something bad happened in your life which would have caused you to stumble, stand up because nobody's gonna pull yourself back again. Make the best out of every failure and downfall in your life. Every storm will come in your way. Know that you can endure it. That you have the chance to make yourself a better person. You need to fight and put yourself back on the track again. Because no one and no one can bring you up again but yourself. God will never leave you. 